airport right now on our way to Auckland, New Zealand. <laughs> what dance is that? Are you excited? Yes, mommy. Okay, baby. High five. Yeah. Wait, what is it? It's an airplane? I'm not going you. No. <laughs> I like your plane. No fire. No fire. What else? Yes, airplane. Yes. What do you need to do? Wear your um, wear your seat back. Four in shop. Please proceed immediately to gate B9. <laughs> Check out this boss baby. He's the only one with a laptop. <laughs> I think we traveled for about 24 hours straight. We made it and we're finally here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just so happy right now. day one here in Auckland and so far it's really cold I don't know why I'm kind of surprised because um, the weather says that it's only like 17 to 18 degrees but it just feels colder than that um, I'm wearing um, two layers of thermals a dress um, a puffy vest and a coat and I even have like a huge scarf but yeah, it's just, just enough to keep me warm and today um, I'm featuring a Filipino restaurant for Trending with Kelly. It's called Boracay Garden Restaurant. And yeah, you'll be seeing it in one of our episodes. This is the viaduct. But viaduct. I don't see any ducks. <laughs> I think duck? they're hiding. Ah, okay. I think. So what's a viaduct without any ducks? I think it's, ducks? it's a place for where the the ducks converge. <laughs> special access to this events place right beside the New Zealand Maritime Museum and oh my gosh the view is just spectacular it's just really amazing and actually this whole area um, it's called the viaduct it just it's so nice to stroll around and just go people watching it's such an amazing place it's just really a relaxed chill area and you can see that everyone came from work um, the time is around uh, 4, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see that the bars are filled with people and yeah, you, you can tell that Kiwis love to relax and they love downtime. So I really appreciate that. I really love that about um, Auckland and it really has a, such a nice chill vibe. This place is called the M Room and it has a stunning view of the ocean and yeah, basically it's it's um, a big empty space that you can dress up. I love this area. If you're in Auckland, you have to come to this area. It's really so pretty. There are a lot of bars here, a lot of cafes lined up and you can just um, sit down, relax, and you can watch. So I am at 
at the Sky Tower right now and I'm on the 51st floor and I have this spectacular view of Auckland. It's, you can see the entire city. It's just so amazing. This is incredible. And this Sky Tower gives you a 360 degree view of the entire city, which is the most amazing thing. Um, anywhere from Auckland, you can see um, the Sky Tower. This is not for um, someone who has fear of heights. This is really high. But, um, this is the best way to appreciate the city, I think. This is beautiful. Nice job! <laughs> oh yeah! Look like boys, right? No. No? It doesn't look like boys. No way. What does it look like? No way, mom. To give you an idea of how high up we are, this is the Eiffel Tower, which is 324 meters, mom, and this is this. Mom, and this is the Sky mom, Tower, which is mom. yes, babes. And the Sky Tower is 328 meters. Mount Eden and I didn't realize this was really such a hike <laughs> don't forget to bring your rubber shoes if you plan to come here because you, you'll need to hike all the way up there and this is a big 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 crater it's really deep okay so I made it to the top of Mount Eden and what a stunning view it is in front of me I mean okay check it out for yourself Of have to hike to get up here so you need to wear very comfortable shoes and most people who come up here um, you see them wearing um, hiking or um, at leisure gear and yeah I'm wearing a dress and a jacket a leather jacket this is what you're not supposed to wear but um, I thought it would look good in photos so of course I am the fashion slave <laughs> the hike is is very steep but it was very quick like it, it was just probably like 15 minutes i think you should just be ready and prepared bring your water bring your snacks so you can kind of have like a nice picnic here and just enjoy the view just i don't know just take it all in it's just so stunning and you really get to see the entire city from here <laughs> oh my, it's my first time to go to Pakistan. <laughs> Hey, 
so we just shopped at Pack and Save and we were able to pack and save a lot of badoy. But there are a Super great shopping experience. And so many nice brands to discover here in Auckland. <laughs> It is day three today and I am at Point Chevalier um, and I'm about to go sailing. And I will learn how to sail, which is kind of a surprise for me. Well, not really. They told me beforehand that I will be learning how to sail, but yeah, I guess <laughs> I just don't know anything about sailing, so that's why it's kind of a bit scary. But yeah, I'm kind of curious too because it looks very interesting and yeah cutest thing i've ever seen look at these kids look at these kids they are setting up their little boat and it looks like they're having so much fun so the water is right behind me but it's still low tide so we're kind of waiting for the tide to come in and apparently it's going to come in um in a few hours i think <laughs> that's why everyone's um, preparing right now and yeah i'm kind of i'm kind of um excited <laughs> i didn't expect to feel excited but i'm kind of excited to learn how to sail um, this is something i think every person should know how to do and yeah should be interesting should be an interesting experience so this is the marine reserve up their um, sailboats right here in the parking lot. Okay. Yeah. So we're ready to sail <laughs> in our pirate uh, outfits. Today is um, National Pirate Day, so we take it very seriously over here. <laughs> Arr. Ahoy! <laughs> It is day four here in Auckland and I am at Ponsonby Central and this is such a great amazing place. I, I'm really loving it. It's like a hodgepodge of uh, different restaurants and um, food stalls and concept stores and it just offers a lot of things. Great food, um, specialty shops, um, a lot of handmade products very unique and this actually used to be um, a printing factory back in the day and it's transformed into um, the shopping center which is not your typical shopping center just really amazing you should come here if you're in Auckland very very great it's, it has um, I haven't tried a food yet but I will in a bit and I'll be showing you um, what to order Good morning! 
I am up bright and early today and guess where I'm at? <laughs> I am at Hobbiton of course, the movie set and yeah I finally made it to the Shire <laughs> in Middle Earth and this is the movie set. It looks exactly as it does in the movies and it is just so pretty and for all of you Lord of the Rings and Hobbit uh, fans well, <laughs> this is how it looks. It's really so nice. It's really so pretty. And I kind of want to like go inside one of these houses and just snuggle and get warm because it's really, really so cold. Um, it's super early. We're here at um, around 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, I think it's 5.30. And it's just freezing cold, ah, but it's so worth it. It looks as it does in the movies. The, look at the little clothes. So here we are at the famous house of Bilbo, Bilbo Baggins and Frodo. It's, it's so relaxing and peaceful here. I can't explain it. It's like you almost want to live here. Well, that's what I feel. I almost want to live here and be a part of this little village. It just feels like you're in a movie and it's an amazing feeling. Okay, so I've just been invited to enter the tavern and they serve alcoholic drinks here so that's a note for you guys if you want to get blasted. <laughs> I'll get this knife. Hi. Yeah. So we're dressed for Hobbiton. And yeah, this is how normal people here dress Hello. up. Good day. <laughs> Having tea. Hello. You can see my outfit. I have a nice um, apron like dress. And yeah, we're we're really feeling We're playing a dance tune. <laughs> We're really feeling the the vibe here and the costumes here really help um, bring out our <laughs> express our love for Hobbiton. <laughs> so it is day six today and we are at the New Zealand Museum and I am at Maori Court at the moment which means um, I am in a room uh, full of Maori artifacts and I just did an interview with um, Bethany, who um, who kind of explained um, about Maori tribes and traditions. And yeah, watch out for it on my show, Trending with Kelly. I won't um, give it away here, just watch it there. So this is a traditional Maori supply house, and this is where they put all their valuable belongings and supplies. And if you notice, it has a very tiny door and usually they would have to assign a child, a small child to put in the, the important things like food and um, other artifacts. And they would also need a child to get them out. And if you notice, um, the house is raised to keep um, natural airflow and ventilation and to keep pests away and this is a traditional Maori house and it's very ornate and elaborate and this is actually a gift by one of the tribes to the museum <laughs> Hey, hi, I'm Hi, 
I am in the room of origins and all around me are fossils and um, rocks and it's super interesting because um, yeah they kind of tell you how we originated and where dinosaurs came from and how it's all connected to us yeah it's pretty interesting 